Hallo und willkommen zurück, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin's, euer Odo. Und wir sind zurück bei Disco Elysium. Möglicherweise eine der letzten Folgen. Wir sind auf Folge 71. Und wir sind schon gegen Ende des... Ups. What rushes below? Far down below. Okay. Und dann gibt es Exception für diesen Hinweis. This old cylindrical generator waits mm -hmm. for the fuel cap open. The lieutenant assists you, holding the canister up to the fuel tank as you tilt. Dark brown, viscous fluid pours out, and the room fills with a chemical smell. Mm -hmm. There's a red starter switch on the side of the cylinder and a start rope on the other side. The lieutenant flicks the switch. Pull the rope. The recoil start wakes the old generator up. The machine sputters like an old war horse before settling down to a rattle. Okay. Do it. Okay. This old cylindrical generator waits with its fuel cap oh, no, somewhere. The tank is far from full, but there should be enough inside to keep it going for a day. Oh, well, I must jetzt off Ah, da is a green thing and a red thing. Habe ich vorhin nicht bemerkt. Magnesium, yes. Mehr Magnesium. The heavy metal door stands as it did, firmly rusted shut into its big brother. Okay. Was ist das? Vielleicht muss man mit öffnen. Uh, ein Fallen Arrow Shirt. Vielleicht doch nicht. This old cylindrical generator waits with its. Hmm. Okay. Vielleicht doch nicht hier rein. Inside of the fortress, you make out the console and the blood. Mm -hmm. Also, we come then da hinten raus irgendwie, aber. Wahrscheinlich hätte ich normalerweise hier das Benzin gekriegt dafür. Aber da ich noch den Tank hatte und nichts bemalt habe mit. Hm. Okay, 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 okay. Hm. 
Hm, da ist noch was. Und was ist das? Alte Wäsche. Ein Schal. Plus 2 Empathy, minus 1 Composure. Oh mal, zwei neue Sachen. Army Surplus Winter Scarf. This towy old scarf is wrapped around the neck. It has humanitarian aid written all over it. Yet you know that thousands all over the world are suffering the same fate as you. The fate of an uncomfortable army surplus scarf. It's too empathy. Underclass. Sucks to be poor. Blueprint eye coordination. Mein jetziges Shirt mit Schützen. Aber minus eins auf Empathy. On training shirt. I see one watch too many. Oh, we no more. Hand-eye coordination, probably. I mean, I have another bullet. Yeah. Okay. I think I have my clothes so as they are. The heavy metal door stands as it did, firmly right. Fury, generator, console. That's our best chance. That there could open it now that the power is on. That there could open it now that the power is on. Wo? Zum Henker. Sagst du mir wo? Oh, warte mal, South East vielleicht. Hm. Vielleicht habe ich jetzt. Ah, da ist sie. <lacht> das ist ja. Green paint flecks off the monoblock aluminium cabinet. There are rows of switches on the front panel, a frequency band and even a keyboard. Und wir fingern sie auf dem Keyboard. What is this? The keys rattle like teeth. This keyboard hasn't been functional in decades. What is this the then? The console of an antique computation device. The generator upstairs with wires coming out determine it here. I think, yes. Let's see. That one, the emergency open. Mm hmm Radio dial. The dial slides under the glass, dark and silent. Restoring electric power has not breathed life into it. Mm. The blast door opens with a series of clicks. A shaft of light appears, then widens mm -hmm. as the light shines in. Often. What if we have to do another fight? Don't worry, I have a gun. I also have I a gun. It was not easy to acquire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Wie kommt man von der anderen Seite? Achso, vielleicht hat er einen Schlüssel für die kleine Tür. Das wäre natürlich eine Möglichkeit gewesen. Da kommen wir wieder rein. Na gut. Gehen wir darüber. Wir klicken alles an, was anklickbar ist. 
Small white flowers blossom all around you. Man. A rubber dinghy. It's deflated, broken. Mm -hmm. Ich habe ihn gefunden. Erster. Tracksuit trousers leans on the frame stock of his rifle. He gathers a big ball of spit in his mouth, then spits it out into the extinguished fire before him. He raises his black eyes, hooded by creased eyelids, to meet yours. Okay. Unclouded by cataracts, his eyesight is sharp. Are you the fire guy? <laughs> <laughs> um. What now? I can't hear you. Oh, hören tut nicht, aber sehen tut gut. He recently told two kids to put out their fire. I may have. All sorts of little rats have come sniffing around, trying to give up the position. Okay. Fire guy. Regressive bourgeoisie henchman can't even talk like a grown up. <laughs> okay, good. You've retained your eyesight. Did you close the blast door? Nice gun you got there. It's not nice. It's a piece of shit. But it gets the job done. Is that a bell in my grave? It's a Triangong 446. Southeast Samarin made. Exotic. Must be defunct too. No modern rifle manufacturer of that name springs to mind. A Samarin rifle? How did you get hold of one? It was sent to us by our brothers in the Sinyao commune. Military aid. Okay. If also an alter Kommunist. He can still make it sing. The Sin Sin Yao commune. You heard me. It's good now, like chalk wiped from the ball. Hmm. Your weapon has stayed true to you. Mine has straight stayed true to me too. So I need you to put powder on so we can talk further. We are with the police. I'm with the police. You can keep the gun, but keep it down. Not one move. My eyesight. <clears throat> yes. Helps me see all the shit. Did you close the door? I did. And you opened it. How? How did you know I was coming? Reactionary rock and roll music. Playing <laughs> on the water. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't play sad FM. Ah, oh, es war einfach zu wichtig. It was not rock and roll. It was sad FM. Sad FM, huh? I always hated that station. Phlegmatic counter-revolutionary dirges. Sadness is a mental illness. A weapon of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> oh, and the super communist. The right about rock and roll. It is degenerate. Hip gyrating mental illness music. So, I need you to put down that gun, so we can talk further. Both. The lieutenant pulls his pistol from the holster. You are a glorified night watchman. This is a service rifle. I can only lay it down before an enemy commander of 
corresponding rank. I am an enemy commander of rank. Put it down. Hm. I have an 58% chance of a 7 Come on. It's a good line, but your voice slips on, Commander, producing a little squeak. Sounds like you're afraid. A big time operator of the Pederast Army. How about I keep it, huh? Hand it over to a real killer, a Briscar. The lieutenant aims his pistol square at the man's forehead. Put it down now, sir. Hmm. Der hat Authority, nicht so wie wir. Or you're gonna blow my brains out before you question me. To hell with it. It's a walking stick anyway. It's out of bullets. Pick up the gun lying in the sand. His gaze follows your motions. The rifle feels surprisingly light in your hand. Frame stopped and patched in places with tape and wire. Hmm, ob er auf diese Distanz so gut schießen konnte. The rifle's in a shabby state, like a crutch that's seen too much travel. Hieroglyphs are embossed into the forearm, made of walnut. Okay. On the butt you see Vespertine writing, burnt into the wood. Triangon, 4.46 mm, made in Simiao. It's as he said, it's Triangon. Made in Xinjiang. No one said it has to be the Nagrev. We were just guessing. Hmm. From ballistics, it could easily have been a Triangon too. Thank you, Visual Calculus. If it was made in Shanti Shanti, all it has to do is use jacketed ammunition, and it does. It uses jacketed ammunition for forty-six. The right type and the right calibre. Mm. He's liking this. The old man keeps following your motion with his gaze. His right arm twitches suddenly. This looked very much like the murder weapon. It could be used against him to get a confession in time. Thank you, rhetoric. Who are you? My name is Josef Lilianovich Dross. Political Commissar of the 114th Anti-Aircraft Division of the 4th Army of the Commune of Revachol. Der ist schon ziemlich lange hier. I am a deserter, a partisan, and a prisoner of war. This is my term of surrender. Okay. His eyes turn to the reeds again, dead and dull. There, behind them. Across the delta, the Insacom building, coalition government in Salindian mission control. Mm -hmm. The commune of Revachol? Do you mean the ICM? Your uh, holdover from the... From the Insulindian citizens militia, the army of the revolution. I was recruited in Jamrock in 07. Trained in the Ecole de Control Orion and consigned to emergency defense duties in 08. Erinnert ein wenig an den Japaner, der noch zehn Jahre nach dem Zweiten Weltkrieg auf den Philippinen im Dschungel versteckt war und nicht wusste, dass der Krieg vorbei ist. When I returned here on May 14th, the commune had fallen. Still armed and ideologically trained i wrote a criticism of myself and resumed partisan duties okay one minus eight equals 43. you've been on this island for 43 years no i've been on other islands too Okay. I was in a resurrection until they turned it into a spa in 18. Then I was an E-48. 
a nameless sound, until the sea washed over it. Then I came back here. That was 22 years ago. And you've been hiding here for 43 years? You said you deserted your unit? I was just 16 years old. 15 when I volunteered. I had a lapse of faith. <clears throat> and of courage, too. Understood. Well done. I won't explain it to a minion of capital. What is this? Island, how have you survived all this time? 43 years and 10 months. That's insane. <laughs> That's so hard. I don't even know what that is. It's not how a human being should live. But I had to. I couldn't just forget. I couldn't just forget what I saw. He just couldn't. Oh. Du meinst so wie ich? Hm. He nods. But he can now. What have you been doing during all this time? Hiding, fishing, waiting. When the afternoon grows late, on Rue de Saint Gislaine, people walk home. Street lights will soon be lit. Further inland, the streets are alive with workers, men, women, children, street hawks, and migrant laborers. The temperature okay. is steady. Alto cumulus clouds form above Precinct 41. Two police officers step out of the whirling in rags cafeteria. Satellite officer Jean Vicmer inspects a series of burnt black letters splashed across the glass. <laughs> Patrol officer Judith Minow points west. The fishing village. She glances at her watch. We meet in 15 minutes. It's a 10 minute walk. The officers go, leaving behind the writing, still smoldering. One day, it says, I will return to your side. Always <laughs> waiting. The old man turns his eye for what? For her to return. For who? Girl child revolution. I come from there. I can assure you that is not what the people are planning. I am not a fool. I know. The material base for an uprising has eroded. The working class has betrayed mankind. The historic opportunity for a revolution has passed. It will not come back anymore. However hard I try. Whatever I do. How have you survived all this time? How does anyone survive? I steal. Hmm, what do you steal? Supplies, vegetables. I collect rainwater. It's the life of a dog, not a human being. <coughs> okay. How is your health, Mr. Dross? I've been throwing up blood since winter. Red, like beetroot. Been passing it in stool, too. Okay, this is kein gutes Zeichen. Good for his age. More like 75 than 65. Trouble putting on weight could mean cancer. TRCM can provide medical services. You need to be looked over. I need to die. You <laughs> don't have medical facilities. You have guns. That's all they give you. Toy guns. This is a serious situation. You need to be looked over and you can do it. There's nothing to look over. The triage is in, and it's black. Administer morphine. Moribund. Mm. He looks at you, his face parched from the sun and the wind. 
there's a wince of pain in there somewhere. This is Ireland. It's not an island, Duat. It's a defensive fortification of the commune of Revachol. And I am its last surviving defender. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wir brauchen das nicht neu einzubringen. How have you concealed yourself all these years? It was hard in the tens. I didn't have partisan training. They were searching for stragglers, those bloodhounds. Floodlights mm -hmm. on the water at night. There were posters, campaigns. We communards still hoped, and they needed to snuff that hope out. The East capitulated. Martinez and Cold City were turned to dust. But Jamrock, mm -hmm. Forberg, even Coron, and Boogie Street, of course. Those fucking kips had Marsoff coursing through their veins. Okay. And others too. Some cordons of Revachol were still fighting. There were cells. I tried to contact them. Soon they all went silent. The frequencies dead. How did you get between here and the mainland? At night, I used a dinghy. I only went after dark then. When I got to the city, I stayed underground. Patrols, you lot, the commons too. Okay. They started snitching. In the city, you move underground? From bunker to bunker. Not anymore. No one cares now. I don't even have to hide. They think I'm another antisocial vagrant. I could walk straight into that town if I wanted. I just... Why don't we walk there? The weapons cache on the song is lame. In the basement, have you been there? There's a small bunker in the first building. Have you stayed there? The propaganda bunker. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. Mm. Propaganda bunker? They stored leaflets there. Broadcasting equipment, too. Made broadcasts, I think. Propaganda officers. I buried them with their leaflets. They killed themselves. Two young boys. Killed themselves? Of boys did. I spent some winters there. Never liked it. Kept thinking of them. No need to go underground anymore. It's better in the ruins on the ground. <laughs> so you finally found it. There must have been a small squadron's worth of arms in there. Delma Graves, right? They were. I know them. So you've been there? Sleeping. <laughs> Some nights. Am I scrounging on others? Those my graves were shit, even before they corroded. Hmm. Some had bullets in the chamber, however. Oh, okay. You feel the dots connecting. Little dots on the map he's walked across. Don't you just walk there? I don't want to. They're all traitors. Pigs, rabbits, and dogs. Men without ideals are only animals. Hmm. He does not want to see life moving on. People forgetting, drinking, laughing. Another the thing. The old man looks across the water. You said this is your termless the surrender? With the RCM, the coalition appointed mob. That enforces bourgeois morals in Revachol. We are not coalition appointed. We just try to help people. That's right. We are with the good guys. <laughs> Enforce the law. We keep these animals from killing each other. I know what it looks like. But I have secret plans to turn the RCM into a Masovian revolutionary unit. Let's leave it. Let's. 
You represent the Moralist International, the enemies of humanity who took this city. I represent their adversary, the Parti Communiste de Langue. Okay. Take me to them as a prisoner of war. I have relinquished my weapon. I can no longer serve. No superiors can relieve me of my duty. You bulldoze them all to a mass grave for trying to free humanity. <coughs> okay, his hand shakes and he breaks into a coughing fit. Spray yep. blood from his mouth on the black charcoal in the fire pits. So you're a communist soldier from the communist no. army? No, I am not a soldier. I am an ideological officer. I belong to the party. Not the army. But you said you were trained and assigned to the defense corps. Trained in historical materialism, then assigned as a political commissar by the party. These things used to mean something. Mm -hmm. oh, time up. Okay, wait. What does a political commissar do? The old man does not answer. He tilts his silver head. And looks at the reeds. You see a small tremor pass through his legs. His job was to assure the army answers to civilian control and follows the ideology of the commune. Okay. Scientific communism. A commissaire politique is a knight philosopher of the revolution, a future human. Okay. Awakened from shutdown by the promise of ideology. That means you're a trained communist, right? He nods slowly. Then another tremor. I'm not really into politics myself. Say no. <coughs> mm -hmm. I have another serious question for you. There's nothing serious in this world. It's a farce. Composure? Ugh. What have you been using this gun? I've used it for killing people. Killing people? It's a gun. That's what they're for. You want a moralist euphemism? Defending your family and your property. I haven't done that. Okay. I've used it to kill people. Interesting. During or after the war? There is no after the war. Hmm. Class war is never over. Okay. So it's continued killing after hostilities ended. Okay. Okay. This is it. You can feel it. Like battery acid on the tip of your tongue. Something you haven't felt in a while. But. But what? This is what you live for. This is the shit. The great serotonin jackpot. The solution. Okay. Go in straight. No euphemisms. He doesn't like those. No, no. Be careful now. Slow and steady does it. Make him repeat it first. Okay. Don't mess this up. Remember, he wants to tell you. Get personal. So you're saying you killed people after active fighting stopped? You used that gun to shoot and kill a colonel of the security contractor canal? I know you want to tell me, have you killed anyone with that gun in the last week or two? I don't want to tell you anything, you grotesque murderer. And why did you think that was a good idea? Don't listen to me. I'm wrong all the time. Danke, suggestion. Danke, 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 suggestion. <laughs> Gibt's ja wohl nicht. Wait. Easy success. <laughs> Ganz offen. An idiot. Did you use that gun to shoot and kill Colonel? So you're saying you killed people. What did I just say? What did I just tell you? Don't drop the ball now. Mm. 
<laughs> the who now? He heard you. He just wants to hear you say it again. This is dramatic flair on his part. Ich sollte nur auf Drama hören. Drama hat mich nicht betrogen. Die ganze Zeit nicht. Drama und Volition. The corpse in ceramic armor hanging behind the whirling in rags. Did you shoot him? Oh yes. That one. Ugly piece of work, that boy. Mm -hmm. Did you kill him? I am a son of a welder and an officer of the commune of Revachol. I do not collaborate with murderers and pederasts of the liberal regime. Oh God! An illogical, um, verbissener idiot. Proof. Pile it all on him. Get a confession. Danke, the, gun, the murder weapon is the perfect opener. The scent of blood in the air. But what else? There was something you can't remember. Something about the tracks. Suddenly, all those tracks are so confusing. Go with something else first. I don't need your cooperation. I've got this. <laughs> Not a lot of guns around that use military grade ammunition, are there? It's a real gun. Not like your little musketeer pistol. I've seen you prance around with that, jumping hoops for the liberals. You look like imbeciles. Why don't you ask them to give you real weapons? <laughs> Going against automatic rifles with these toy guns. Of course, you got those boys killed. Wir haben auch drei von ihnen gekillt. Damn, he saw you. He's watched it happen. He would have a good view of the tribunal from here. It's not just empty boasting. So he saw you. Okay. So what? Don't let it divert you. We saved a lot of them. Their leader Titus. He handled that situation. Stop changing the subject. You know what? You're right. I'm convinced this made the shot. Should we call it? You think we have the murder weapon? I'm calling it, we have. 4.46 jacketed ammunition, modified for range. We have it. This is it. Good. More skill points. This feels good, doesn't it? Tying things up like this. When you have the murder weapon, you have the killer. Murder. What am I forgetting? Hit yourself on the side of your head. Okay, let's back up for a moment. Tell me. You lost, Dwight. You lost. Once more, Mr. Dross. The Colonel, we need to talk about you killing him. Pretty bourgeois law. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is all you care about, right? The only thing in the world for you types. Okay, ich glaube, ich werde Schluss machen hier. Ich habe schon lange überzogen jetzt. Wir machen in Folge 2 und weiter. Wir werden ein Geständnis aus dem Rügeln im schlimmsten Fall. Nein, wir prügeln niemanden. Wir sind die Guten. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal. Bis dann.